Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another vlog, another weekend vlog. Y'all, vlogs start on Thursday through Sunday. Um, I have obligated myself to make at least three videos every single weekend. So today is cooking with tequila and I'm not gonna lie, I have been laying down most of the day because I have not been really feeling very well today. I don't know if it's something I ate, something I did, you know. I don't know but I didn't feel like cooking but I am gonna come with something so that I can keep this thing going and staying true to my channel because actually today is happy two-year anniversary y'all my channel has been up for two years as of today and I'm super excited because I have started and then I stalled and then I came back and now I have finally been able to post the videos like I want to, but happy anniversary to me as the Pleasant Imperfectionist on YouTube. Well, actually no, because I was a Pleasant Imperfectionist longer because I had started the Instagram way before that and I had also um, started on Facebook, y'all. And so I've just been building a little bit at a time and I'm super proud of myself that I have gotten over 30 videos out you guys and so my goal right now is to get to 50 before I can get a tripod to set up more equipment for the channel I hope that I will get uh, more viewers more subscribers or whatever it is but don't forget to like comment share subscribe and hit the bell to be notified on the next video also I'm gonna show you guys what I cook for the kids because we had a situation where the food wasn't put up yesterday, but if you check out the Instagram, you will see that I made a New Orleans style Cajun red bean and rice in the pressure cooker. Y'all, this is the pressure cooker. And so right now I have some jasmine rice up in there. This is the A quart, and if you guys had watched the video before, you would have seen the unboxing of the Instapot that was $49 at Walmart on their clearance sale um, around March. I was able to get it online um, through the website because I was able to um, click on the link to be notified when it was available, and I got it for the exact price it was on sale at the time. And so right here, we got some corn. Some cream style corn rice sausages and as you can see we got all that seasoning in there and so yeah let's just get into it now i don't have a plate of that because i'm not going to plate it up and the kids have already eaten so right now i'm about to make some brownies yeah and so um i'm gonna sit you guys right here basically i have the duck and hind um dark chocolate brownie mix a family size i was gonna mix another one with it but i decided no because this one says that you can get a, you can get it into a 13 by 9 pan and i have that so i think it's gonna be good um so let me sit you guys here and so that you guys can see what i got going on and so so far i just have the mix in the bowl i'm gonna go ahead and sit you guys right here um yeah, and sit you guys right here so I can put all the rest of the ingredients in My drink, sweet. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute, okay? So we have brown eggs. So I'm going to take three of those. Three brown eggs because that's what the recipe calls for. Three. Three eggs. So we got one. Three or Jake. Yes, three large eggs, two, and three. I'm gonna grab some water. Y'all. <laughs> this thing says to take two large eggs. I put three, so we gonna see how it come out. And <laughs> oh. yeah, well, basically it'll be cake like brownies, something like that. And then um, yeah. So. <laughs> hey. 
And because I put an extra egg, I think I might want to slow down on the water. Well, you know what? You know, just dump it all in. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a third cup of oil from a big gallon that I put in the um, deep fryer, you guys. Which reminds me that I'm gonna be changing the deep fryer out, the grease out and cleaning it out this weekend. So you guys will be able to see a little bit of that. And so, I went up a little bit more than one third, so I wanna Oh, a little bit of that. So I'm just wiping out my pan to make sure there's no water in it because that is what I do not need. Um, this one I got from Sam Club. It is a I can't see it from the back, but no, I can't see it from the back. I think the other one has the, the measurement on it. So basically I'm just going to spray it. Brandon, can you get your brother some drink, please? Enough. Here, clean it up. Okay, so I'm just going to mix the brownie batter up. Get everything going. And so what I noticed is that it's not a lot, so I'm going to add another box to it. And that's gonna even out our mix because this one takes one egg and this one is a salty caramel brownie mix. Because that's not gonna fill up the pan. It's only gonna be like this thin. So I, I don't like that. Um, I like them to be a bit thick. So what I'm going to do is open up that box. Yes! Y'all, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is the salted caramel one. Um, so this is dark chocolate fudge and then salted caramel. Mixing the two together. And I've already got three eggs in it. So I'm going to add the other part of the oil. And the other part of the oil to equal one third cup. And then another one third cup of water. Okay, so we're gonna mix this together. Because remember, the brownies are not gonna rise up, they're gonna be flat. And so I feel like this will fit in that pan um, full depth to give us a brownie about this thick. We want the brownie to be the size of the pan basically. And so my secret ingredient for my brownies is going to be... <laughs> it's going to be cinnamon. It's going to be cinnamon, y'all. Cinnamon and dark chocolate goes really well together. So I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon and then I'm going to add a touch of water a touch of almond 
just what? a little bit of touch because I love almond flavor. And I'm just going to mix those two together in our pan. And this is what our mix looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I have blended everything together. So basically that's it. What I'm going to do is um, make sure I hold off on the caramel that's going to go on top. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna take all of this and dump that because I need a little bit more room. We have been and then I'm going to, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to pour our batter in there. So basically one, one box was a family size and the other box is a regular size. And so that's how you can see that I did my measurements as far as um, putting them together. And so if I could hold this back y'all. So this is basically what it looks like and it's covering up the whole pan which is what I wanted. So I'm going to scrape all the rest of that out so we can get it in there. Okay, and that's that. So now I'm going to take our caramel pouch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut it because it's a little bit hard to take it out. So I'm going to kind of punch it a little bit and kind of get it on top. And so it's coming out real thick, but I'm going to kind of like just put it in layers and then run my knife through it to kind of you know spread it around as much as i can so i got two and then this is the third layer the third strip okay and then i have one more i think i can get out of here this is caramel. This is a salted caramel in the the uh, the brownie pack. And so I'm going to put that on. And the caramel is just gonna bake inside of it, basically. The box says to put it on top. I would have put it on at the end, but I mean, let's just do what the box says. So, and then it says to. Take your knife, so I'll show you guys what I have so far, so you guys can see. It's kind of put y'all a little bit lower. You guys can see. Let's see if you can see it. I'll hover back a little bit. Probably can. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I have one, two, three layers. And so basically, I'm just going to pull it around through the chocolate. Just kind of. You won't see it on top, but hopefully it bakes up. So basically, I'm just swirling it around through the chocolate or through the brownie mix, rather, just to kind of get it swirly in there. You can still kind of see it a little bit. So I'm going to take this other one and kind of swirl it around. Because it's not mixing in there, you can still feel it. Um, you can still feel it. Let me... Go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Shh. 
Okay, so the the caramel is like going right in there. You can probably still see it a little bit, but basically it's just taking a caramel and kind of like dispersing the little uh, wires of it or whatever or whatnot. So with that, I'm going to take it over to our toaster oven and we're going to bake this for about 45 minutes to an hour on uh 350 let me just double check that is 350 so this one is gonna be <laughs> 350 <laughs> And this was 350, so I'm gonna put it on 350 for about um, 45 minutes. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it a little bit. Gonna put it in there, and then for about 45 minutes, because I can always give it more or less. So basically, our brownies are getting started. Okay, you guys, so we have brownies coming, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the mess. And then um, in 45 minutes, I will come back and show you guys what it looks like. And so, you guys, the, um, the brownies has been, the brownies have, have been cooking or baking for the last 32-ish minutes. We have 13 minutes left, so I'm just gonna take a uh, I'm going to take a butter knife and I'm going to stick it in the middle to see if it comes out clear in which it does so I'm going to consider this as done I'm going to turn and chip that off completely and then I'm going to sit it out to cool on top of my pad up there without burning myself and that you guys is brownie so once it cool off I will slice a cup a couple of pieces and you guys will be able to see that um, when it's done but I don't see any caramel in there so I'm hoping that when you cut it you can either taste it or see swirls of caramel I don't know but that is that you guys I'll be right back when it cools off to cut a piece and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the middle guys welcome back the brownies are done i hope that you guys can see me very well because it is late here it's about almost 8 30 which is around their bedtime so um my alarm is getting ready to go off in about five minutes so hopefully i can go ahead and wrap this up so that you guys can be able to get this video tonight on a thursday i shouldn't have to air too much or edit too much because um there's not too much going on, but let me show you guys the brownies. We're going to cut them open and then um, serve it to the kids, edit this video, and then get it to you guys. And with that said, I hope that you guys um, stay tuned for the rest of the videos for the weekend. Um, I cannot tell you what is planned, but I do have some things I have to do for the end of the week, um, given that it's back to school time. So it may just be something that I'm just going to show you guys. Um, also um let's see hmm, my facebook page is up and running i posted some videos on there so if you want to go check out the vlogs you can instagram is still there um what else nothing else so don't forget to stay blessed stay safe stay whole and stay pleasant with your imperfections and this is the next video you guys have a good day and This is the brownies, you guys. I'm just gonna look how soft that came out. Yes, honey. Yes. So, basically, I'm going to cut off a piece from one of the kiddos. And... Ooh. That is nice, y'all. That is a nice piece. I'm going to try to get it to the napkin, which is down here. <laughs> and 
we succeeded y'all we succeeded and so this is what the brownies look like on the inside hopefully it there it is there you go so to me it looked like it came out a little cakey but let me give it a try so that you guys can know let me take a piece of it I like my brownies warm and I also like the center pieces the kids try to beat me to it nowadays so I'm gonna and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece and then see this is what that looks like you guys should be able to see that hopefully and hmm That is so good, y'all. The almond comes through, the caramel comes through. I taste a little bit of the cinnamon, but not too much, but you can taste the cinnamon. Oh yeah, 